What is going on y'all? This is Witty from Witty's Real Time Fishing. Today I just want to uh, show y'all a product. It's called uh, Super Clean and this first item here is Super Clean's original cleaner degreaser. It dissolves grease and grime and perfect for your garage and uh, other household uses. So uh, sometimes you want to make uh, want to dilute it with water because it's real strong and um, you can get this uh, these products from uh, Ace Hardware, Advanced Auto uh, Parts, Amazon, Blades Farm and Fleet, Do It Best, Fleet Farm, Lowe's, um, O'Reilly, Napa, all those places. So it's just uh, you'll see them in your local stores, or I'll put the link in the description below, or you can just go to the website. And then uh, the next one we have will be the uh, All Wheel Cleaner right here. This uh, breaks down traffic film and grime on rims. Uh, it's a it's acidic uh, cleaner and it's great for cleaning uh, rust, lime, and calcium. So you can use this for your rims right here. This is super clean all wheel cleaner. And last, this is just the last of the some of the products that they have. This is the aerosol can. It's the same cleaning degreasing formula as the original super clean that we uh, had right here, but it's in an aerosol can. And it has a precision spray nozzle and sticks to the vertical surfaces. So you'll spray and um, let it sit for a little bit and just wipe it off. So these are the three products right here, but if you check out the website, they got the original degreaser, the foam wind trigger one, uh, all wheel cleaner, the aerosol can and also the floor absorb it for any uh, oil spills or any spills that you have. So go to www.superclean.com and uh, check out this site. And on that note, let's head to the fishing video. Talk to you later. Peace. What's up y'all? This is Witty and I'm here at Paris Island. I'm also here with uh, Salt Life Chino. He's down there testing out the waters. But I'm going for white and he's going for other stuff right now. Um, it's high tide. Tide's starting to go out now. But the well, tide's slack right now, so we're gonna see what we can get today. We're gonna fish here till like uh, 11 o'clock. Then we're gonna go back in the woods and uh, do some fishing back there. See what we get. And I'm gonna try to get some fillers today on the way there and see if we get some sheep's head. So stay tuned. Talk to y'all later. Maybe a nice size white. And this is a nice size white. Nice size white in there. Another white. Yeah, the fish is going to be real good today. The white and putting up a fight. And then here's 15 minutes, got three white in already. Decent size too. Yep. It's not too hot out here right now. All right, later on, I'm not that big, but he'll do. This is a white, and I think this is a shark right here. A stingray. This might be a shark. Get teared up with.
Yep, that's what I thought. Shark. Get him off the hook and release him. Alright, got another one coming in. Seems like a nice size whiting. Might be the biggest one. Oh, it's too white. There we go. Yep. Too white. <laughs> Shark, but I think it's a horseshoe crab. So, uh, we're going to see. Oh, damn. Jaws. <laughs> Jabber jaw. I don't even got no pier net. Dang, those damn weights to be wasting. <laughs> yeah, I think he took my little whiting though. I had a whiting or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he caught a whiting, but the white shark yeah. took the whiting. Okay, we'll get him up, see if we can get him up then. I'll put y'all back. All right, y'all, got a ribbon fish right here. That's that's new. Never cut that out here before. Look at them teeth, boy. Woo! Them teeth are dangerous. Throw him back in. He's good, probably. Um, what they use to catch? Mackerel. Mackerel bait. Here. Yeah now but the white and still biting Got this guy in here. there you go it's another location the, the inlet here on Paris Island so seeing if we get anything in this creek right here it tells us about an hour see what's going on then go back to the woods to the cliff yeah, bring your stuff in. He's he's going. He going. Oh crap! <laughs> oh shit! All right, he turning around now. Very sharp. I know I'm gonna pop, it's gonna pop. So strong. I'm gonna have to get my other line now. He popped my line. Jeez. Time for shark time. Location. Here at the cliff. See what we get. Action. Oh, snap. He put a big giant shrimp on there. He got it. Oh, I took, I took it up. Oh, shit. He got a nice red. I ain't got nothing out there. Oh, this one here. Grab the, grab the fish. I am. <laughs> Beginner's luck, y'all. Um, I got a cough right here. Here, here you get your pliers. Huh? Pliers. All right. Got them. Got them. It's all been a hook. Sure. Tight. Got him in my line. So he's going in the bucket. Another one. Ray. Damn. Stingray. Ray, Ray. 
Man. I got the bait in there and the crab is going towards my he was going towards my uh sand flea trap. So he's messing with it now. That's uh wait till he goes on the other side of it. Trying to take my time. So I got the shrimp heads in there. He just need to make his way inside. He gonna get frustrated and try to go inside. Let me see if I can try to get him in there slowly. I don't want to spook him. Sunset like this, probably better. You just set it up like that. That way, when he goes in front of it, I can get him. To be continued. We did get some mud minnows. Crab nation. Gonna see what we get here. Then I think we'll call it a day around here. So stay tuned. And see what we get. Oh, oh, a little, little drum. Oh, boo. All right. Yep. Black drum. Okay. Nice sauce fish. Nice sauce red. <laughs> <laughs> 